Welcome back to Saturday's Sports Special. No need to panic. That's the sentiment from new Reggae Boys head coach Steve McLaren following a surprising nil-all draw with Cuba in their opening CONCACAF Nations League match on a Friday at the National Stadium. Jerome Foster reports. There was a buzz of expectation for the Reggae Boys and in particular Englishman Steve McLaren who was making his first step into the office. A large turnout, arguably the largest in the last decade for the Reggae Boys, who were third place finishers in the previous edition of the CONCACAF Nations League. The crowd saw a mixture of dignitaries and public figures as black, green and gold jerseys filled the stadium. All of that came with the anticipation that the Cubans would be blown out of the water, but many left clinging to the hope of what could have been for the home team. The chances came in all shapes and forms for the reggae boys who did everything but put the ball in the net. Mikel Antonio hitting the post from four yards out and Jamal Lowe taking too many touches inside the six-yard box, highlighting glaring inefficiencies in front of goal. On the cusp of the break, fortune for the hosts as Yuna Perez denied a potential goal-scoring opportunity and got ejected. But even with the advantage for the entire second half, the Cuban door could not be knocked down over the course of the 90 minutes. A massive result for the visitors, but a dagger to the hearts of the home team and fans who were counting their chickens in expectancy of a heavy scoreline. The result reassured Coach McLaren that his time with the reggae boys will not be about the Caribbean breeze. I knew from the beginning, uh, three weeks ago when I took the job, it's a long process and I'm bringing things to the team which I, I think will help us go to the next level. Um, I think we demonstrated that today, you know, defensively we didn't give them anything. We were very strong in terms of that. Um, counter press was very good from the midfield and we created chances from that, so that was positive. However, the Englishman says there were enough signs to suggest the team will be much improved going forward. Tough result. Tough to take. Um, I always say, well, what were the stats? Did we control the game? 21 shots, 7 on target, 73% possession. We controlled the game and if we do them stats in every game, well, we'll win, win more than we lose. Um, I couldn't fault the boys their attitude, uh, we controlled it, we wanted to play football, we switched the play, we probed, we created clear chances. Uh, another day, we win that game very easily if we score early. A hostile crowd awaits the reggae boys in Honduras, but McLaren is eager to correct the wrongs of Friday's result on Tuesday. Hostile. But we've got players in the team who play in that hostile atmosphere every week in the Premier League or the Championship and I expect our players to deal with that. I expect them to uh, play with composure. Um, it will be a tough game um, but every game we have, every training session that I have, I'm learning more and more about the players. The Jamaicans departed the island on Saturday for Tegucigalpa to oppose the Hondurans. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports.